All right, let's get this kickboxing show started. First off, in this room, who here is for Team Elevate? Then bring me to the red corner. Ruined that dramatic moment. Been there before. So I got that backwards. Who here is from Jimmo? Right here, baby. Oh, no. All right, bring me to the red corner. Zachary the Cannibal Thrift. Here we go. Zachary Thrift fighting out of Jimmo's. This is going to be an exciting fight right here. Yes, sir. These two guys are incapable of having boring fights. Oh, I could stop right there. That's the best one. Big shout out to Shiner Stash Jerky. The black pepper garlic meat strips are outstanding. The bacon sriracha is unlike anything I've ever had before. I'll tell you that. Zachary Thurf making his entrance to the ring for, I believe, his third time. Is that correct? Um, All right, now yes, let me this hear is it fourth for time. Elevate. Fourth time. MMA, are you in the house? Yes, sir. That's what I want to oh, hear. Man. Bring yes, me sir. to the blue corner. Cheyenne, Cheyenne O, Coca. See, we might be a little biased during this fight, but we'll be evenly biased. Oh, it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fight, baby. We've been in there. We've been there too many times, this is me a fight. and you, buddy. You know, we actually got some compliments uh, from, from Markel and Kevin when they fought about Good. how non biased we stayed. So I think we're, to keep I think we have a pretty brother. good. I think we have a pretty good rep when it comes to that. We do try to uh, keep it as professional as we can. If you know, you know, it gets a little rough sometimes. But I'm gonna tell you, you know, these guys are fighting, and it's a sport at the end of the day. And you have to respect the sport and respect the fighters as well. You feel me, brother? Yes, sir. You couldn't be more right. Cheyenne Kokar coming out to the ring with the Elevate Tribe in tow. There he comes. Oh, he's taking no time. With the Ultimate Warrior style ah. entrance, <laughs> making the Elevate team jog behind he's him. He's got Satterfield on his toes right now. Marcus, Marcus Davis, Davis in the corner. That's Has a he been nice, working with you guys lately? No, that's a nice surprise for me. Wow. Talk I about it. There's corner. always a friendly relationship between us and Tap Out. They're a great gym, and he's a great coach. You couldn't really have a, a more experienced person in your corner, really. You, had, you couldn't say that better. I'm telling you right now, Marcus Paul Davis has fought the best of the best. I I don't want to. I don't right, want to smack anymore. I want to save it. And right, Jimmo, let me hear it one more time for these two fighters. <laughs> Zach Thrift versus Cheyon Kokar should be a brawl. The cannibal is gonna go in there and try to rip his head off. I know Cheyenne uses more kicks, Zachary uses more punches. It's going to be pretty much a punch versus kick. Let's see what happens here. I know. Absolutely. Here we go. Round number one Zachary Thrift. Versus Shion, Shio Korkar. Jason. There we go. Three minute, three minute round. There we go, round number one. Ooh. Shion Korkar. Big switch kick. Versus Zach Thrift, we know it's going to be a fight. Using good pressure. Zach. Ooh, good as, knee. As predicted, Zach coming forward aggressively early, like he always does. Going for, going for a leg kick is both of them, actually. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. to the groin. Yeah, that's that a stepping side kick. It looked a little high. I don't know if it was on the groin. It might have been on the top of the cup, to be honest. Yeah. It so was coming up. It was a rising kind of deal. So I would call that the rising sun <laughs> kick. <laughs> it's absolutely addictive, that jerky. <laughs> that shiner stash. I'm telling you. Sirachi. Here we go. Time in, Joe. Here we go. Right here, it needs to utilize that jab. 
Shion switching stances, which he's known for very well. Ooh, oh, stiff jab from Shion. Shion, Zach Thrift caught with his hands down there. I think the aggressiveness and the I think like this is the most pressure of Zach Thrift is like kind of what Shion wants like to an extent. It. He doesn't want to get overwhelmed, obviously, but he does like an opponent that's going to come forward. This is also the calmest we've seen Zachary Thrift in a long time. Since yeah. making that transition to Jimmo's, I've seen they've tamed the beast. Yeah, I would hope that that would be the case. Good outside leg like that. Good body shots in the clinch. Shion turned the corner though. Ooh, big he, knee there to the body from Shion. I knew there was an alternative motive to that turnout. I knew the knee was coming. Nice stiff jab for Great Shion. jab. Shion's best, best weapon, in my opinion, the jab and that check Ooh. hook on the lead hand. He's landing both of them. Ooh, that was a low knee. We all know that Zach Thrift is a dangerous, dangerous guy in the early rounds. Seems to be tired already. That's when that's when we see Zach Thrift start to slow down is when we see Get outside people, leg kick. people have more success against Ooh, him. Ooh, right to the liver. He is just such an animal in the early rounds. Shion He's touched his liver hard right to there. tame. Oh. I think the more the body work comes in, the easier it will be to slow him down. We've got 10 seconds left in this opening. Affair. I think these guys need to start checking some kicks, man. Ain't nobody checked one kick yet. They're both eating them. Shion's checked a few. Oh, oh that one eats. Flush Zach Thrift to the high, high outside thigh there. I've seen them both eat a bunch of kicks, to be honest. <laughs> My bad. I thought these were three-minute rounds, but this is two-minute rounds still. Well, that was a really good round. Um, if I had to action packed, I try to be biased, but if I had to give it to, him, I would give it to Zach. Well, the level. volume there was definitely with Zach, and that that you know the last exchange there was definitely in his favor. I think uh, if Shion can use his clinch work, I think he has better clinch work. He needs to get Zachary through from that clinch. Use that really good knee. He has great knees. He needs to utilize his knees. He has a fantastic jab. Maybe he can use that jab to set up to come in for the clinch and go into that knee. I see a lot of the Elevate tribe in the, in the stream now tuning in. I see Mr. Donnie Jessup in there as well, North Carolina referee and MMA legend. <laughs> it's out right there. Donnie Jessup is in the house. Couldn't be here physically tonight. His first fight for it show I think he's missed, but he's watching. He was actually at my last fight. He was in, uh, he was the referee for my last fight. Ooh, really Shion good. Lee. Starting out aggressive. Oh, he walked right into a right hand from Shion. Two big strikes for Shion to start Shion off the second round. Really threw tensions in that one. Well, I mean, he's got to earn Zach, Zach. He's got to earn Thrift's respect. And I know really that's hard, hard to it's do hard. that. It's hard. It's really hard. Because he's such an animal. <laughs> oh, that's a slip. That's a slip. Going for a head kick. Need to open that hip a little more on that, on that kick. And for the body kick, the glove. That was a glove kick. Yeah, kind of landed on the chest, but mostly blocked there by Thrift. Nice, another leg kick from Thrift. Good circling for Sean, Catch but he seems to be going the towards exit. the power side, and I think Thrift should really utilize him going to that power side. Nice! Very nice combo for Cheyenne Kokar there. And now he's starting to let the hands flow a little bit, because that touch jab that he uses to set up other stuff is and so And he's good. making Zachary follow him, which is going to waste his energy. He's making him follow him, and... He's not coming off the ring like he should, and Shion's doing really good. Oh, no, good sidekick. Stepping sidekick again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ref stepping in. I think, I'm not sure why. Something about the sidekick is what he said. Oh, Shion lands a big check again. Another check hook for Shion. I really think Zach Thrift is starting to take a little bit of damage now on the way in. Well, he's he's rush he's when he rushes in he has the most effectiveness, but he's following Shion. He's not trying to stop him or or trying to stop his movement. See right here when he does this is when he's going to have his best success in his fight. Yeah, but he's not stronger than Shion in the clinch. So if you if you have this strategy of running forward and trying to clinch, the he needs to do guy, the punches. You've got a dirty box. He's got to do damage when he gets close. He can't just There punch. it is. Good side kick. Fake the, fake the lead uh, leg kick. Right? Nice straight side kick. Ooh, another good kick. Fires back with a heck of a leg kick of his own, but takes a big straight there from Shion's lead hand. That's uh, the second round. That second round was definitely Shion's. I have it oh, one Shion. and one, brother. I could easily see the either the first round going either way as well, but it should um, be up there. Really. But one and one is is definitely a, a very feasible, very feasible round. I wonder what the corner of uh, Zachary Thrift is saying right now. Where's Ricky Rainey, Bellator veteran and UFC fighter? 
Yeah, I don't know what he could be saying to him right now uh, because I'm not sure what the, what exactly they've worked on since they acquiring this talent of Zachary Thrift. But I think that taming the beast, as you were kind of saying, yeah. was the was the big big challenge. Yes. Or the thing that everybody said, you know, was the was the thing that they needed to I, work on. I highly agree on that and because he was an animal reserved. before he went there. He just went at you like like a wild beast. He's more reserved now, um, but he still doesn't look very comfortable on the outside. It's I also changing. think his energy levels are a lot better. He doesn't look as tired as he did in his last couple of fights. Yeah, he was in that third round with Alan Jackson. He was. Uh, they were both exhausted. I think right now he needs to let it all out, just like those old fights. He needs to he let it all out. He may be saving. He may have been saving it for this round as well. Ooh, good body kick. Nice check from Shion. Ooh, good. Ooh, it doubled it up. Shion answering back. Shion firing back to the body. I think the body work is, is definitely the, the, a long-term investment. He's a good feint. Took another good leg kick. Shion's hands are really low. He's stripping a lot. Oh, another inside leg kick from Zachary Thrift. Zachary Thrift utilizes some really good kicks. Yeah, Zachary we were talking about him coming. He's got powerful yes. kicks. We were talking about him coming here as more of a puncher, but today he's coming more as a kicker, to be honest. Yeah, he's been working the kicks a lot. That's must be working at Muay Thai, Jim Rose. There we go. He's the Shion looking very composed. Oh, he kicked the knee. That had to hurt. Exactly. Yeah. Thrift even the with knee. the even with the gear on, that that still hurts. Check that kick. Shion's got some great checks coming now. Shion's timing him. Good body shot. He's got one minute now to work. I think Shion's pulling ahead now as this fight goes on. Good body shot. Countered by Shion. Shion with a big cross there. Good body shot. From he Zachary. woke Zach Thrift up there. They're both exchanging. Here we go, here we go. 36 seconds left. Oh, big strike from the lead hand. That's Shion's best punch of the fight. Got 20 seconds. Oh, Shion is landing damage in this final yeah, round he's here. Right, right now, he's really blending it all out. Zach Thrift just leaving himself a little exposed here. 10 seconds. The round coming to an end here. And the fight as Ooh, well. Oh, good body shot. This is what he needed to be doing from the beginning. Oh, this is the bang. He should have been doing this. He sh Zachary Thurst shouldn't have been doing that since the beginning of the third round. Hear it. Let's hear it for these two guys, That was guys, an outstanding everybody. fight from both fighters. Yes, sir. Swinging and banging for That's days and just everything we like to see. Jason Dula is up next. I cannot wait to see Jason Dula. We've got some Dula fans in the chat already. Don't worry. You have not missed the debut of you Mr. Sure Jason have. Dula. AKA Mr. John Jones in the flesh. <laughs> the Jones clone. <laughs> Great fight from Shion Coker and Zach Thrift there. It was everything I thought it would be in terms of a brawl. Zach Thrift just see, couldn't really seem to get it going, couldn't put it together in that, in the, in that second and third round. First fight I think Shion's done without Cody Malte in his corner as well. And the judges score he really, will he be really coming out good. here in a second. Yeah, he looked great. In my That's if they say his mother split decision. All right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Out of the blue corner, Cheyenne, Cheyenne O, Go Car, out of Elevate MMA. I agree with that decision. That was a beautiful display of some striking from Cheyenne, and I'm very proud of it. Cheyenne's family all here, and they're all popping off. Mom, especially. I can always hear her when she's here. <laughs> yeah, I love them. They're so wholesome. 